So tell me about about Bobby Tim Timoney, uh, artist, and what you do. Just in general about me? Yeah, or, or anything you want to talk about. Okay. Um, I, I uh, well, let's see. I have a twin brother. Yeah. This is me. Okay. Oh. Okay. When we were kids, like all day long, we just sit and draw comics. And I'm still drawing comics now as an adult, so I do dream. <laughs> so now it's like an honorable profession being a comic artist, whereas one time it probably wasn't. <laughs> well, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> yeah. Like my parents are really supportive and they never really pressure me to get a real job. Right. And, you know? And my wife also very supportive. That Comics helps. is a hard job and if you don't have people around you that, that you know, that nurture you and support you, it, it can be really hard to make it. Now, most so I count of, myself very lucky. A lot of characters are animation, like Scooby-Doo, oh, yeah. Gargamel. You know, this yeah, one, this, frankly, I yeah. started doing the, the cartoon characters at WonderCon last year because I was, uh, it's, we're right across the street from Disneyland. Yeah. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll draw some Disney characters and see how I do. And it, was, it turned out to be a, a good move. It was really popular and uh, people really liked it. So I'm, I'm kind of sticking with it. Plus, I love cartoons and I love cartoon right. characters. So, so that was an easy decision. So it's like equally for you doing comics and cartoons or animated characters and comic characters and both. So like equally you passionate about the cartoon characters and yeah, the comics as well. Yeah, my first comic books were um, more Uncle Scrooge and yeah. you know by Karl Marx and all that. And the first comics we ever made were basically comics about cartoon characters that we loved, like Scooby Doo actually. Right. Like I remember drawing a Scooby Doo. It's one of my earliest memories of drawing. I remember drawing a Scooby Doo and my older sister was blown away by how cool it was. I think it was I think it was inspired by the Strangers in the Night song by Frank Sinatra. Yeah, Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that too. He had some other name, I forget what it was. But yeah, they renamed him based on that song. And then uh, after that, we started making up our own characters. Sometimes we take our stuffed animals and like make characters out of those and right. really make a comic book. And stuff. So I've always been drawn to the, the cartoon books a lot. And I, I still am. I love those types of books. And you come to Caps as well. Caps. I do. Caps is great. Uh, I have a lot of great friends here in LA. I'm, yeah. I, I, I've, I've been here about five years, but I didn't have a lot of comic book friends. Yeah. And Caps is a great way to, to meet other like-minded comic book people. So. I know it's like like a lot of the Caps artists you work is very friendly. I don't see a lot of severed heads and blood oh, and gore, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, I mean. Or be a cult or I'm something. Sure, I'm sure there's some of that going on because everybody's different. But yeah. I mean, I. For the most part, I like to keep my stuff all ages appropriate, because that's what I like. So. Is that like a personal choice or a professional choice or both or what? Um, it's a personal choice. Like, I have, I branch out a little bit into some more risque. Like, I have this, uh, my deck of playing cards is all monster pinup girls, so, you know, right. that's a little bit more adult. But even these, they're, they're sexy, but they're also, like, cute and not trashy or tawdry. Right. At least that's what I was going for. So, I, you know, I like to... I like to appeal to as many people as possible. And there's plenty of comics out there for adults and stuff. I like to appeal to everyone. So in that regard, do you uh, like market to children's groups or educational or anything like that? Or? Not so much educational. Uh, I'm, I'm more about entertaining. Okay. You know? I think kids need entertainment as much as And I want, I want to provide that. I've always been an entertainer and a storyteller at heart. And I feel like like my comic book and artwork is an extension of that. So being as you're a chain of, when you're creating your, your artwork, are you very animated or are you <laughs> like a Mr. Spock who draws pictures or what? Uh, I feel like I'm a very animated person in general. I right. have a terrible poker face, you know, if you be honest. I remember when I, in college I was on the I was on the school newspaper as the staff cartoonist. Right. And, and we went to a school to talk to kids about journalism and all that. And they introduced me as, they're like, here's our staff cartoonist, Bobby Timoney. And one of the kids was like, he looked like a cartoon. They got a big laugh. It's true. I'm very cartoonish. Well, you know, our, our vice president was a cartoonist at this, at this college newspaper, too. He was? Mike Pence, yeah. Yeah, I imagine a lot of Caps people probably had some cartoonist experience in college with their papers. I know. My brother and I both had comic strips in the paper. So how long have you been coming to conventions? Um... Since about 2008, I think, was my first con as a professional. I mean, I've been coming to them as a fan for years. 2008, 
2008? I forget. My first book was The Night Owls. Um, it was published by DC. Yeah. So they invited us out and we signed at the DC table and that was a lot of fun. And that was our first uh, professional con experience and it was a good one. So now you're doing more mostly solo work for your yard work and studio and solo work? Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of solo work, but I'm a very social person. Right. So I like to work with other people when I can. But a lot of times I do find myself at home just working by myself. So oh. yes, you do what you do. So you're, you're now in California. Yeah. And my uh, brother's still in New Jersey. So you know about the Diane Feinstein's retiring from our office. So interesting. Right, what? Diane Feinstein's retiring from our office. Her sentence will be vacant. So you <laughs> think you might be interested? In, interested. Yeah, right. I don't know. In office. Run on a cartoon ticket for Senate. I'm sorry, Run on a cartoonist ticket for the state senate to one time no. Feinstein. No, I'm, no, I'm not going to run for office. No. <laughs> Politics? No thanks. I, I'm keeping out of that. There's, there's people that are way better at that than I am. Yeah. I'll leave that to them. I'm just here to entertain. <laughs> but it's not your first WonderCon, is it? No, it's not. I've done, this is probably my fourth WonderCon. Oh, good. Non consecutively. I think this is my third in a row. And then I did one previously back when it was up in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it used to be up north, yeah. Yeah, I did one up there, and I think the last three I did here. Yeah. Wonder kinds of good show. Anything else you want to say? Or? Um, yeah. They have me. Keep drawing. <laughs> All right, I'll send you a copy of this, too. Thank you.